Here is the Redmi Note 11. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. Okay, after I set it up, then you can go ahead and insert the SIM card or you can look in the description below where I have a video on how to insert the SIM card after I set this up. Okay, after you turn this on, we're going to tap right here and then you want to tap on your language. I'm good with English United States. And now really quickly down here, it says increase text size. Okay, you can increase text size right now if you wish. If you want it like that or you want it back there. Okay, I'm just going to go and keep it on here, the big one. And now from here, we're going to tap on the right arrow right here. And choose your region. I'm going to choose United States right there. We're going to tap on the right arrow right there. Terms and conditions, go ahead and read through that. You have to read and agree and tap on that down here to proceed. Okay, so tap on that and we're going to tap on the right arrow right there. Insert SIM card. Now we can do this now or you can do it after the setup. Okay, so for me, I'm just going to go ahead and do this after the setup. So I'm not going to do it now. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap down here. Oops, let me go back here. So uh, network, I am going to connect to my network right now. You can always skip that and go later, but I'm going to connect to my now so I can go ahead and get the latest update here. Let me put my password into my Wi-Fi. After you put in your Wi-Fi password, tap on connect. Obtaining IP address, it says connected right there. Perfect, and then go down here and we're going to tap the right arrow again. Getting your phone ready, this may take a few minutes. Now it says copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. So if you want to transfer it from a different device, if you have another phone, you can tap on next here. So you can do a backup from an and another Android phone. You can do a backup from a cloud or from a iPhone, okay? But for me, I want a clean slate here. I'm not going to go ahead and use any kind of backup. So I'm going to go back. And then where it says, uh, for myself, choose apps and data, I'm going to click on don't copy because I want a fresh, clean slate on this phone. Now it's asking me to sign into my Google account, basically my Gmail. So you can go ahead and sign in now or you can do it later. I'm just going to do it later, so I'm going to skip for now. I don't remember my password, so I'm just going to skip for now. Google services, you can go ahead and read through these. These are all optional. Okay, but for myself, I'm fine with having all those toggled on, and I'm, I'm going to tap on Accept for myself down here. Review additional apps. I'm going to tap on OK right there. Set screen lock, basically, basically a password. You can skip this, but I would recommend do something now. Okay, so we can do um, only screen lock, or you can do fingerprint. I'm just going to do the fingerprint here. So if I tap on the fingerprint there, now first I need to go ahead and use a pattern, pin, or password. Okay, I'm just going to use a pin. And of course, you can, re you can read through this down here, but you need to remember that. Okay, so I'm going to click on got it right there, and I'm going to go ahead and make me a pin. I'll just make me an e easy four-digit pin for now, and I'll tap on enter down here, and I'll re-enter my same pin again. Now I re Reconfirm my pen. Let me click on enter down here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a fingerprint password. And the scanner is the actual power button. It's not on here. It's not on back of the phone. Okay. It's the power button right here. Okay. So type your finger on there and then this will show up. And now we're just going to go ahead and place your thumb on here or your finger, whatever finger you want, and just press up and down. I feel it vibrate up, vibrate up. And just keep on going until all that blue fills up. So we're going to keep on going here, just moving around. Get your fingertips, okay. And now it says move your finger slightly, okay. So I'm going to go back here. What we're going to do is we're just going to move it slightly and trying to get the edges of our finger here. So it's added successfully. I'm going to click on done down here. And here's some additional settings. These are all optional as well. These are all preference. Okay, you can have all these toggled off or whatnot. For mine, I'm fine with all of these on there. Uh, you know what? I'm even fine with the personal ads. Some of you guys probably, most of you guys probably want that off. And then from here, I'm going to click on that right arrow. Set default launcher. You can do classic or you can do app drawer. I'm just going to go with classic. This is just a preference and I'm going to tap on the right arrow right there. 
setup complete, you're ready to rock. Let me click down here on the right arrow and give this one second to load. And voila, we are now in business, guys. Now, if you want to know how to insert the SIM card, look at the video link in the description below. Okay, good luck, guys.